Why, hello there YouTube and welcome to a Who Review Flux Friday. So I am Davros and I am a Whovian and yeah, it's like I said, Flux Friday. So for the next six Fridays I'll be doing my usual Saturday Who Review on a Friday to go with the name of this, you know, this uh, series of, you know, that I'm going to review. So let's begin. So today I review Doctor Who. The Flux, Chapter 1, The Halloween Apocalypse. So this is the uh, first of a six-part um, story of Series 13, and uh, basically what it is, uh, the Doctor and Yaz find themselves uh, in this whole situation where they're, well, fighting against this this dog-like alien called the Lupari, and his name is, um, his name is, uh, Carvin Carvinista, and he heads to Earth to save a human, Dan Lewis, from Liverpool on Halloween night, because he's saving him from an event called the Flux. And the Doctor has no idea what that is, the Flux. Whilst these two new villains, who are essentially the main antagonists for this series, uh, called Spawn and his sister Azur, um, you know, um, well, Spawn breaks out and regenerates, and Azur, Azur awakens from her, you know, sleeper state or something. And they start to cause chaos whilst, you know, the whole universe begins to break apart due to the flux. And the Doctor has no idea what it is and must find out why if she is to save the universe. So that's pretty much the essential story. So what did I like? Well, I like that this was um, the series premiere and I like that it was on taking place on Halloween. It took place on, I mean, it premiered on Halloween night as well in 2021. And I liked the you know, that we got a Halloween field episode, even though it wasn't a special. Uh, but yeah, I liked it. I also liked the introduction of Dan Lewis, played by John Bishop. Ever since they uh, you know hinted him on um, you know the New Year's Day 2021 special, um, Revolution, the uh, Revolution of the Daleks. So I liked that we got a new companion, and it was Dan. I feel like he was you know he was great in this. I, I did enjoy his character. Uh, I also like Jodie Whittaker playing the Doctor as well, and I also liked Mandip Gill as Yaz, slightly more improved. Uh, I also like that we got an introduction to so many new characters in this episode, uh, you know, that are gonna, that would play a part in the series. I liked, you know, I thought the new villain Spawn and um, his sister Ad Adzor were good, but I mean, like I said, this was just the beginning, so. Yeah, they, they, they pick it up on over time throughout the series. We also got the character of Claire, who was introduced, uh, who had an encounter with a weeping angel, and we're wondering who is she, how does she know the Doctor again? It all sinks into the finale of this uh, series. Uh, we also got a new character called Vinda, who again plays a part in the series, but <clears throat> is slowly built up towards the finale. Yeah, I like that we got an introduction to new characters which would be regulars throughout this six-part adventure. And we got some new stuff. We also got a lot of good visual effects, particularly with the flux with it being, well, in space and everything. I guess they used a lot of CGI in this. So the CGI was okay. Um, I also thought that the whole dilemma you know, was, was interesting. I, I like this series and I like where it was going. This was a good opener. Uh, to, I even liked the character of Carvinista, the Lupari dog-like man. He was a very interesting character, and I was trying to think. I recognise his voice. He sounds like a Yorkshire man, but still, he, he was a good character, and I thought, we've had cat people in the show, why not have dog-like people? And we do now, you know, the Lupari. Of course, he unfortunately becomes the last of his kind in during the flux, but... Nonetheless, I liked his character, and he would be reoccurring throughout the series as he is Dan's best friend. You know, 
because his mission is to save him from the flux and that these creatures were prepared for it. So I liked that how this whole episode set things in motion for what was to come. We even had a Victorian gentleman as well called um, Joseph Williamson, who again was a, you know, who wasn't just a Victorian gentleman, but was a real person. Yeah, we get, um, yeah, English businessman Joseph Williamson in this play by Steve Oran, um, who again reoccurs in this um, serial. So we get a historical celebrity in there, uh, and I actually had no idea that Joseph Williamson was an actual real person until I looked it up uh, for this review. So he was a good reoccurring part in this too, and like I say, would you know, return in and out. But, uh, yeah, this, like I said, was the first of a six-part story, so of course they were going to set things up for what was to come in the series, and um, so they weren't going to tie any loose ends, obviously. They were going to end it on a cliffhanger, which of course they did do, but it didn't get me hyped for the next episode. I guess that's one negative, but I thought, oh, I've seen these cliffhangers so many times in Doctor Who, you know, it's just going to be something simple to get out of, you know, so, yeah, but still, it was interesting, I mean, this had been the first time since 1986, the whole series was like one long story, you know, 1986's, last time they did this was in 1986, The Trial of a Time Lord, but I think the reason they, they did this one was because of, you know, the pandemic, there were so many places they could film, there was so much they could do, but, yeah, I did enjoy this first, you know, part of the story. Um, you know, there were a couple flaws with it, like I said, and that, like, Yaz again, I feel it plays much of an important part in this. But, it, it was it was okay, so my ratings, what am I going to rate this one? I'll give the performances a, an, a 9, the visuals an 8, the writing, I'll give that an 8, and my personal... I'll, I'll give it an 8. So there you go. That is it for uh, the first part of Flux Friday. So do join, tune in next time, you know, well, next Friday, where I will review and you know, the next part of the Flux, which, of course, is um, War of the Centaurans. So, yeah, there'll be, of course, a Who review on Tuesday on Classic Who, uh, as usual, till you know, in between. But yeah, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share with your friends, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and to hit that notification bell. All my social media links are linked down below in the description so you can check it all out. I've been Davros the Whovian, this has been a Who Review, so until next time, run for your life.